Do you want to change your financial future? Well, these five books that I'm going to show to you today transform my life and they could do the same for you. Today, I'm going to be showing you the five books that rewired my brain and changed my financial destiny and the financial destiny of my friends and the family and the people around me forever. That's the type of impact that these five books have had on me. And I'm going to go in descending order. I'm going to build up to the one book that to me is the most important book that I have read on finance and has transformed my life forever. Book number five, and that is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This book is amazing. It is motivational and it also teaches you. Every time I read this, I read all these books once every single year. Every time I read this book, I get inspired to keep on going on my financial journey to financial freedom. How has it changed my life and rewired my brain? Once I've read this book, I understand the importance of financial education. So it keeps me going on reading more and more books on financial education. It teaches me the difference between assets and liabilities and pushes the boundaries on what is an asset and what is a liability. It is controversial, this book at times, but absolutely read it. It will motivate you. It has changed my life forever. There are so many occasions where during life when I am living, I'm in the city and I'm weighing up buying something. The book, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad often finds its way into my brain and says, is this an asset? Is this a liability? So I do think a lot of the time this book has rewired my brain and it pops up in my brain every now and again when I need it and need to make that decision on whether I am buying an asset or a liability. And every time I read it, I always feel super motivated at the end. Book number four on my list, counting down to the most important book on my list, but book number four is The Millionaire Next Door. This is a good book. It is factual. It brings statistics. It teaches you what a millionaire actually looks like. Our perception of what a millionaire looks like is completely distorted. What we think a millionaire looks like is someone with a nice watch, a nice car, a big house. Well, that couldn't, couldn't actually be further from the truth. Well, you often find that people that look like this are usually thousands of pounds in debt. So what a millionaire actually looks like is not what you think. It describes the characteristics of being a millionaire and teaches you about not keeping up with the Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses is a psychological phenomenon where as humans, we see other humans, friends and family getting something and maybe through jealousy or something like that, we try to keep up with the Joneses. We want what they have. This is what the book, The Millionaire Next Door has taught me. It has made me aware of keeping up with the Joneses. I see it all the time in other people and myself included. I am human too. And I still have this emotion. If a friend or family member or neighbor gets something, I want it too. But now after reading this book, my brain is rewired and I get that memory that says, no, you are trying to keep up with the Joneses. Remember, stay on your path. Stay on your financial journey. It's your journey, not theirs. They are on a different journey and you are on your own journey. The book, The Millionaire Next Door, has really embedded into the psychology and the rewiring of my brain of being aware of when I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses and preventing it and helping me stay on course on my own financial journey. Book number three on my top five books that changed my financial destiny forever. And that is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This could have easily gone in the number one slot. This is how good these books are. They are amazing. This particular book is not a practical steps type of book. It is not the type of book that says you need to financially do this, 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 and this. It is much more of a spirituality book. The law of attraction, the law of abundance, the law of assumption. This is what it goes into. I am quite a spiritual person and I do believe in these laws. And if you do not believe in these laws, well, what about just in case? If you believed in the law of becoming a millionaire because you assume you will be a millionaire because you've got the law of attraction and you become a millionaire, 
whether it was the universe that made that happen or whether it was you and your mind frame that changed and took action because you thought I have to be a millionaire. Well, the outcome is the same, whether it is actual practical and literal or whether it is spiritual from the universe, it doesn't matter. The outcome is the same. The book, The Think and Grow Rich book is amazing for me. I use the law of attraction, the law of spirituality. And I put that message out to the universe once a week to say, I will become a millionaire. I will become rich and abundant. I will live a rich and fulfilling life. And to be honest with you, my life has changed forever, ever since. I do not know if it is the universe that has provided this to me or my brain has changed because now I think I will become a millionaire. I will be rich, I will be abundant. What does it matter whether it's the universe or me or my mind? The fact is that this book truly works to reach the same outcome, whether it's practical steps or whether it's the universe, I do not know. I cannot begin to answer that question. But what I can say is it works. One way or another, the outcome is the same. It helps you achieve your goals and your dreams by either putting that message in the universe or changing your brain so you are now capable of achieving those dreams. Book number two, and it is The Richest Man in Babylon. Those of you who watch this channel, I bet you thought this was going to be number one, but no, I do think there is another book that transformed my life forever that is better than this one. It was very hard to call, but The Richest Man in Babylon is an amazing book. It tells you the story of an individual who lived in Babylon. It's a storytelling book. It is not practical steps. It's a storytelling book. So you can immerse yourself in the the story, the Game of Thrones style language that they speak is quite entertaining, but it gives you the basic knowledge that you need to become financially free and independent. It teaches you about 10% of all you earn is yours to keep. It teaches you about paying yourself first, the basic fundamental things that you need to know about personal finance. It tells you the stories of people that have gone through slavery and they have financially gotten themselves out of slavery using these principles. It is an amazing book. It's a short book and I listen to this book once every single year. I absolutely love it. It keeps me grounded to the principles and the basics of personal finance that I need to follow for the rest of my life. This is such a great book. It's a great starter book because it's all on basics. It's a really good starter book on personal finance. Before we get to book number one, and I'm also going to give you a bonus tip after book number one that was going to help you with these books and embed the lessons in your own life. So if you like this type of content, hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see all the future videos on retiring early, retiring independent, financial independence and living a rich and fulfilling life. And book number one, just before I tell you about book number one, I do have a bonus at the very end of the video that is going to be super useful for you. But book number one is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. Now, you might think the title of this book is... Mm, yeah, it can seem a little bit boring if I'm honest with you, but actually super entertaining, a really entertaining book. Very, very well written. I am super happy with this book and it is my number one because it has the most amount of impact on my life. One of the key lessons that I learned from the psychology of money is why should you save and invest and keep the money and not go and spend it and enjoy the money. The psychology of money teaches me that you save for savings sake. And even then you think, well, what is the point in that? Well, psychologically saving for savings sake and getting F you money and have the ability to say no and have the ability to do the things that you want to do and live a rich and fulfilled life, this is the point of saving. The more resources you have behind you, the more you can dictate your life, the more you can say, this is my life. We only have one life to live. And if we have the resources behind us to say, no, I do not want to do the things that you are telling me to do. I can say, no, I have F you money. You can then begin to choose to live a rich and fulfilling life of freedom. That is why I love this book. It's directly in line with this channel. I love it. Morgan Housel, well done, sir. Well done to you. That is such a good book. 
Not only have I told you the top five books that have changed my destiny, that have rewired my brain and changed my life forever, I'm going to tell you these five books and prioritize them in the correct order so you can read them and get more advanced with the books. You could jump in at the deep end and it may be a bit complicated for you. So I'm going to teach you the order that you should be reading these books. Read the book as number one, the richest man in Babylon. This is such basic advice that is so useful and it's greatly written as a storytelling book. The next book, book number two, is The Millionaire Next Door. This is a really good book. Again, it's giving you statistics of what the millionaires actually look like and the characteristics of those millionaires. So again, this is really good basic information that you need to take in. The next book, book number three, is The Psychology of Money. This again is so motivational and teach you why you should be doing this, why you should be following this path to financial freedom and retiring early and living a rich and fulfilling life. So book number three is The Psychology of Money. Book number four, and that is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This can be controversial at times, but it's a very motivational book and teaches you about assets and liabilities. And book number five is Think and Grow Rich. Because this does not have practical steps, I think this should be book number five and puts you in touch with your spirituality about money and abundance. So this is a really good way to finish off these five books. And I read these five books every year without fail and they keep me on track to my financial goals. An audio version of these books can easily be listened to if you just type it into YouTube. You can usually get the audio version of this book completely for free. There you go. I just sacrificed my sponsorship with Audible. Whenever that may happen, if that will ever happen, I've just sacrificed it for you. So just, you can listen to it for free. You can listen to it in the shower, on your commute to work, just before you go to bed. You've got no excuse. You've got so many opportunities to listen to this free audio book. So get listening to them in that order. These books, again, transformed my life forever, my destiny forever. I thought my destiny was to work till I'm 75 in a job that was just over minimum wage. When I read that first book, The Richest Man in Babylon was the first book I ever read. And that's why I put it number one on the book that you should read first. It changed my life forever. It sent me down the path of these other books that I found. And that book changed my life forever. My life, my destiny of my life has changed from working till I'm 75 to working and retiring in my 30s or early 40s around that age. So imagine that's like 30 years, 30 years of extra time that I can live a rich and fulfilling life just because I read five simple books. Do you have any books on personal finance and self-improvement? Please put it in the comments below. What is your favorite book on this topic? If you like this type of content on finance and you want to know how to go from zero, from a beginner to a millionaire, then watch this video right here. I'm sure you're going to love it.